Hi friends, welcome to our channel The Art Zone. Today I have come up with a new video of this beautiful table runner. We have made this runner in two colors. It is about 55 inches long, a long table runner which we have made with this fillets and flowers. And here we have the beautiful tassels as you can see this it is quite easy so let's start the video before starting the video i would request you to please subscribe my channel and press the bell button and give your suggestion in comment section let's begin with the video first of all we'll make the fillet and we are going to make the fillet with lightweight number three yarn with silk effect and i'm using 3.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project so first of all make a slip knot after making a slip knot now make six chains one two three four five six after making six chains Insert the hook into very first chain and join with a slip stitch. With this pattern, we'll make a ring. For next round, make three chains: one, two, three. These three chains will be counted as a first double crochet. Now insert the hook into this ring and make a double crochet. And make one more double crochet into this ring. With this pattern, we'll make this three double crochet because we'll count these three chains as a double crochet after making this three double crochet now make seven chains one two three four five six and seven like this now insert the hook into this ring and make three double crochet one two three after making this three double crochet now make two chains one two and make three more double crochet into this ring after making this three double crochet again make seven chains seven after making this seven chains insert the hook into this ring and make three more double crochet one two three after making this fourth group of double crochet now make two chains then insert the hook into third chain and join with a slip stitch with this pattern we have completed our first round like this for next round make three chains one two three first of all make these three chains this chain will be counted as a first double crochet now make one more chain for chain space with this pattern we'll make four chains insert the hook into top chain of next double crochet and make a double crochet after making a double crochet make a chain then insert the hook into next chain and make a double crochet with this pattern we'll make this three double crochet after making this three double crochet now make a chain and next you can see this here we have a chain space of seven chains so we'll make 10 double crochet into this chain space insert the hook into the chain space and make 10 double crochet 1 2 3 10 after making this 10 double crochet now make a chain and next you can see this here we have these three double crochets so insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet make a double crochet make a chain next chain double crochet again make a chain 
insert the hook into top chain of third double crochet and make a double crochet like this now we'll turn the work from this point because we have to skip all the remaining stitches we have to turn the work from this point first of all make four chains one two three four then turn the work and next here we have the chain space double crochet chain space and double crochet so skip the chain space insert the hook into top chain of next double crochet make a double crochet one chain skip next chain space insert the hook into next double crochet make a double crochet after making this three double crochet now make a chain and here we have this 10 double crochet as you can see this after making a chain now insert the hook from front side into this double crochet and now make a front post double crochet like this then insert the hook into next double crochet and make a front post double crochet two again insert the hook from front side and make a front post double crochet three again insert the hook from here and make a front post double crochet four then insert the hook from front side and make a front post double crochet five with this pattern we'll make one two three four five five front post double crochet after making this five front post double crochet make seven chains one two three four five six seven and here we have the next five double crochet so we'll make a front post double crochet into each double crochet insert the hook from front side and make a front post double crochet one then insert the hook into next double crochet and make a front post double crochet two next front post double crochet three next front post double crochet four then insert the hook into last double crochet and make last front post double crochet five with this pattern we'll make five front post double crochet seven chain and five front post double crochet after making this five front post double crochet make a chain then here we have these three double crochet so we'll skip the chain space insert the hook into top chain of next double crochet make a double crochet one chain skip next chain space insert the hook into top chain of next double crochet make a double crochet then make a chain now here we have these four chains so skip first chain insert the hook into second chain and make a double crochet like this for next round make four chains one two three four after making these four chains turn the side skip next chain space insert the hook into top chain of second double crochet make a double crochet make a chain skip next chain space insert the hook into top chain of next double crochet make a double crochet make a chain insert the hook here we have this five front post double crochet so skip first chain space insert the hook into double crochet make a double crochet then make a chain insert the hook into third double crochet and make a double crochet then make a chain and now here we have these two double crochets so skip second last double crochet insert the hook into last double crochet and make a double crochet then make a chain and now 
here we have the chain space so we have to repeat this pattern make 10 double crochet into this chain space nine ten after making this ten double crochet then repeat this pattern make a chain insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet make a double crochet one chain skip second double crochet insert the hook into third chain make a double crochet then one chain skip fourth double crochet insert the hook into fifth chain and make a double crochet with this pattern we'll make this three double crochet then next make a chain skip next chain space insert the hook into top chain of next double crochet make a double crochet one chain skip next chain space make a double crochet into second last double crochet then make a chain and now here we have these four chains so skip first chain insert the hook into second chain and make last double crochet from here as you can see this after completing this round now turn the work here we have these chains as you can see this so first of all insert the hook into second chain make a slip stitch next slip stitch 2 next slip stitch 3 next chain slip stitch 4 then next chain slip stitch 5 with this pattern we will skip this 3 double crochet now here we have the top chain of 4th double crochet so insert the hook into top chain of 4th double crochet make a slip stitch now make 4 chains 1 2 3 4 then insert the hook into next double crochet and make a double crochet one chain next chain double crochet after making this three double crochet then make a chain and now we have to repeat the front post double crochet round so insert the hook into first double crochet and make a front post double crochet one next chain front post double crochet two first of all we'll make this five front post double crochet three next front post double crochet four then next front post double crochet five after making this five front post double crochet with this pattern now repeat the pattern make seven chains one two three four five six and seven then make next five front post double crochet and five after making this five double crochet make it make a chain insert the hook into top chain of first double crochet make a double crochet one chain next chain double crochet one chain next chain double crochet then skip last three double crochet as we have already skipped on this side now turn the work make four chains one two three four now make a double crochet one chain next chain double crochet two after making this three double crochet make a chain and here we have these five double crochets so we'll make a double crochet into first chain then make a chain skip second chain insert the hook into third chain make a double crochet one chain then skip 
four double crochet and insert the hook into last double crochet and make a double crochet with this pattern we'll make one two three four five six six double crochet after making six double crochet then make a chain and jump toward the next chain space then repeat the pattern make 10 double crochet then make a chain double crochet chain double crochet into next chain chain double crochet into next chain then make next three double crochet then repeat this pattern then make five slip stitches just repeat this pattern and complete the fillet we are at the end of our fillet round after making last five front post double crochet then make a chain insert the hook into next double crochet make a double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain insert the hook into next chain and make last double crochet we have to finish the work from this point now cut the yarn from here so friends you can see this we have made 32 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 and 33 with this pattern we have completed the if you want to make it in longer size you can increase these stitches with the same pattern after making this now we have to make the flower with the same pattern we will make two fillets with the same pattern we will make one more fillet after making the fillet now we are going to make the flower with same size of yarn and same hook i'm using three millimeter three point sorry i'm using 3.5 millimeter crochet hook first of all make a magic ring like this now make a chain insert the hook into this ring and make a loose single crochet one insert the hook into this ring make single crochet two with this pattern you'll make 12 single crochet Twelve. After making twelve single crochet, now pull the yarn nicely and close the ring like this. Then insert the hook into four single crochet and make a slip stitch. Now make three chains as a double crochet. Insert the hook into next chain and make a double crochet. After making these two double crochet, make three chains. One, two, three. Then insert the hook into third chain. Make a double crochet. In fourth chain make a double crochet after making two double crochet make three chains just repeat this pattern with this pattern it will make six groups of double crochet insert the hook into next chain make a double crochet and next chain double crochet three chains and next chain double crochet And next chain double crochet with this pattern you'll complete round two insert the hook into second last chain make a double crochet insert the hook into last chain and make a double crochet after making last double crochet make three chains now insert the hook 
into third chain and join with the slip stitch with this pattern we have completed round 2 now round 3 insert the hook into top chain of next double crochet and make a slip stitch then insert the hook into this chain space and make a slip stitch like this now make 3 chains 1 2 3 this three chains will be counted as a first double crochet now we have to make a cluster stitch with three incomplete double crochet so first of all insert the hook into next chain space make an incomplete double crochet then insert the hook and make an incomplete double crochet now we have three loops on crochet hook so pull the yarn through all the three loops together after making this cluster stitch make three chains then make one more cluster stitch into same chain space one two three now we have four loops on crochet hook so pull the yarn through all the four loops together with this pattern we'll make two cluster stitches into the first chain space now make seven chains one two three four five six seven after making this seven chains jump toward the next chain space and make a cluster stitch after making a cluster stitch make three chains and make one more cluster stitch into the same chain space one two three now pull the yarn through all the four loops together with this pattern we have made this cluster stitch now make seven chains one two three four five six seven after making this seven chains jump toward the next chain space and repeat this pattern make a cluster stitch three chains and cluster stitch After making the last cluster stitch, now make 7 chains. Seven. After making 7 chains, jump toward the next chain space, repeat this pattern, make a cluster stitch, then make 3 chains, cluster stitch and 7 chain. And jump toward the next chain space, with this pattern you will complete round 3. After making last cluster stitch, make 7 chains now you have to join so insert the hook into top chain of first cluster stitch and make a slip stitch like this now insert the hook into next chain from back loop make a slip stitch insert the hook into next chain from back loop and make a slip stitch now insert the hook into this chain space and make a single crochet. Here we have the next chain space. So we'll jump toward the next chain space and make 6 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, five and six after making this six double crochet make three chains and make six more double crochet into same chain space with this pattern we will make the petals six as you can see this with this pattern we will make the petal after making this 6 double crochet here we have the next chain space between these 2 cluster stitches so insert the hook into this chain space and make a single crochet then jump toward the next chain space and make 6 double crochet 3 chains and 6 double crochet like this now 
After making this six double crochet, make three chain and make six more double crochet into same chain space. After making second petal, we have to repeat this pattern all around. Insert the hook into next chain space, make a single crochet. Then jump toward the next chain space, make 6 double crochet, 3 chains and 6 double crochet. Just keep doing with this pattern and, com and complete the flower. We are at the end of round after making last pattern. Now here we have 4 single crochets, insert the hook into this single crochet and join with slip stitch. Then cut the yarn from here. With this pattern, we have completed the flower pattern. The same pattern will make 10 more flowers because we have to make 11 flowers for this pattern. After making the flower, now we have to join the flower with this fillets. First of all, we will place the flower between these fillets. Here we have a complete flower with 6 petals. First of all, we will make these two petals and we will join the petal from this point. After making this 6 double crochet, now make a chain instead of 3. After making a chain, skip first chain space and second chain space. Insert the hook into the second chain space and make a single crochet. Now make a chain with this pattern, it will make three chains. Now make next six double crochet. Six after making six double crochet, insert the hook into next chain space, make a single crochet as you can see this. With this pattern we have joined our first petal into this chain space here we have the next chain space now i'll make six double crochet three chains and six double crochet into this chain space then make a single crochet and make next petal after making these two petals now we are going to join the next fillet so first of all we make this 6 double crochet after making this double crochet then make a chain and now insert the hook into second chain space we have to skip first chain space from back side and make a single crochet then make one chain and make remaining 6 double crochet after making this 6 double crochet now insert the hook into first single crochet and join with a slip stitch like this as you can see this we have joined our first flower now we have to join the second flower here we have the second flower so first of all we'll make Place the second flower at this position. First of all, join the flower from this point. This is the second point from where we have to join the flower. Then next, we'll join the flower from this chain space. We have to skip these two chain spaces. Then we'll join the flower from third chain space. Then next, with the same pattern, we'll, we'll join the flower from this this chain space and we have to skip these two chain spaces first of all we'll just make this six double crochet after making this six double crochet make a chain 
and now insert the hook into this chain space and make a single crochet then make a chain and make remaining six double crochet insert the hook into next chain space make a single crochet then jump toward the next chain space and make sucks four six double crochet six after making this six double crochet then make a chain and take the next flower insert the hook from back side and make a single crochet then make one more chain with this pattern you will make these three chains now make remaining 6 double crochet 6 then make next single crochet and jump toward the next double crochet chain space and make 6 double crochet after making this double crochet then here we have the fillet so we'll skip first chain second chain spaces then we have to insert the hook from third chain space so insert the hook from back side into this chain space make single crochet then make a chain and make next six double crochet next chain single crochet then next we will make these two petals after making these two petals then insert the hook into last chain space make first six double crochet then make a chain and now skip first and second chain spaces then insert the hook into third chain space from back side skip these two chain spaces now insert the hook into this chain space and make a single crochet then make a chain and make last six double crochet into same chain space after making six double crochet insert the hook into four single crochet and join with a slip stitch With this pattern we have joined these two flowers like this with the same pattern we will join the next flower first of all we will join the flower with this pattern from here then skip next two chain spaces then join the third petal and make next two petals and join the last petal from third chain space skip one two these two chain spaces and join the petal from third chain space just keep doing with this pattern and join all the flowers Friends, you can see this. We have joined all the motifs. We have joined 11 flower motifs. As you can see this. We will join last flower into the last chain space. After making this, now we have to make the tussles for these chain spaces. Here we have a visiting card. You can take any card. Now wrap the yarn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
with this pattern we'll make the tassels so friend we have completed our treble runner i hope you will like this video we'll meet you soon with a new video till then goodbye